Nice. And so a nice tight lid. Yeah, yeah. I might come back and get that. Yeah. Um, Good morning. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Lots of plants, so perennial plants are still interested. Okay. And we have lots of men's poles in there. I don't think it will go any cheaper than what it is. <laughs> a lot of them haven't even been worn. My grandson lost all kinds of weight, so. He never wore half of those. Oh, really? Yeah. He lost about 75 pounds. Or maybe more even. Oh, that's great. Good for him. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah he, he started working at Lowe's as a staff. He graduated from high school and started working. And the pounds came off because of all that physical energy he was using. That was cute. I don't think she ever wore that. Wow. And I remember it was at Walmart. But Miss Kitty was always the I'm just going to buy your hoodie here. Okay. I'm going to take my hanger back. If yeah, of course. Mind. I um, used them, and then I says, I'll just take them off. And so have you been to many yet? No, it was the first one. Oh, okay. Well, then we're doing good then. Yeah. I'm first on the list. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. Okay, we'll come back then. Right, don't, don't, don't forget us. You have um, change for 20 by chance? Yeah, I do. I'll just take my hand to figure out how... How much did I have on that? Uh, Ten dollars. Ten? Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Good luck with your sale. Yeah, and good luck. Morning. Morning. All right, I'm going to buy your uh, sewing machine. Okay. There you go. Thank you, ma'am. Good luck with your sale. Thanks. You got five dollars worth of DVDs and your four dollar hamper here. Uh -huh. That would be nine bucks. There you go. Thank you so much. Yep, thank you. Good luck with the sale. Thank you. Morning.
How much is your hat? Three dollars. Three dollars? Okay. You're just selling the whole box of pop things? Yeah. What are you asking on that? Um, three bucks. Yeah, I'll do that too. Oh, really? <laughs> Oh, does he? Yeah. Cool. You push like a certain whatever. You're welcome to come up here too. Okay. I'm gonna set this stuff here if that's okay. The uh, ink cartridges, are they all open like this one is? We have no idea. So you're welcome to open the box. Okay. Box yeah, I'd be Let curious. Me go get a box cutter, okay. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You guys buy Amazon returns and stuff? Um, she did a pallet, a pallet thing. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. My mo my mother-in-law actually works for Amazon, so. Oh, really? Yeah. Yep. Oh. That one looks yeah. It's interesting how they taped all four yeah. boxes together. Are you asking five each or five for the lot? Uh, was, but Mom, just doing five for the whole thing? Yes. I'll take it. Okay. I won't bother opening the other ones. Cool. Here's the uh, box cutter back. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I'll just Thank add you. it to my pile. Yeah. I owe you $13. 13 Yeah. Okay. Well, you don't understand. Huh? You have a 10 by chance? I do. I got 23. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck with the sale. Thanks. Back at the house, and I had a pretty good day of garage sales. It wasn't until I got back and looked some things up that I was like, okay, I had a great day. First thing I got is this Genome. I could be mispronouncing. It could be Genome. I really don't know. A Harmony 1017 sewing machine. Doesn't look like anything special, but it goes for about 100 bucks. This brand is pretty good. I've sold that brand a handful of times. Uh, in my experience, it does better than just like the Singers and the Kenwoods and things like that. Uh, but yeah, so keep an eye out for Genome sewing machines. I paid 10 for that. I was like all the cords and attachments and everything. I got this Godzilla for $2. Um, this is from 2020. It's the Godzilla versus Kong. I think I'll get 15 to 20 for that. I got all of these um, Bitty Pop Harry Potters. Um, they were all in this box and I got all of them for three bucks and there's nine of them. Um, seems like when you lot them up, they go for about $3 a piece. So that lot of nine, I should get around 25 to 30 bucks for. Got some DVDs for 50 cents each. Uh, most of these I'm probably just gonna keep because a couple of them are my uh, favorites. So here's Bull Durham. I've never seen this collector's edition, but the fact that it has commentary by Costner is really interesting to me. So I'm gonna check that out. Wanted to point these out to you guys. These are um, steel books, um, Scarface and Psycho. Haven't looked these up yet, but sometimes the steel book um, editions of DVDs can do pretty well. So if you see them and they're cheap, this is the Blu-ray actually, if you see them and they're cheap, um, at least, you know, they're worth a look. Major League, another favorite of mine. Got this sorting hat for $3. I don't know that this is worth a lot. Um, still haven't looked it up, but it's just too cool to pass up. I might just let the kids play with it. By far the best find of the day 
were these Brother Toners. So they had one of them opened and the plastic was already ripped open, which is, you know, not a great sign. It means you pretty much can't sell it. Um, so I wanted to take a peek at the other ones and um, I got one open. I think it was the yellow where the plastic was sealed inside, so that's good. Then once I got back, I um, cut open all the tape and everything and the blue and the pink are still sealed. These are going for right around $100 each. No exaggeration. I was freaking shocked when I got back. So I might have to discount the yellow a little bit because it's open box, but I don't see any reason I can't get $250 just for those three. Almost forgot this hoodie. I just found this in the bag over there. This is a uh, Jordan Jumpman hoodie. Got the logo right here. Has the original tag. I paid uh, $10 for it, and I should be able to get $40 to $50 for it based on comps. Then last but certainly not least is this mid-century modern rattan wicker laundry hamper. This might even be Bakelite, I don't know. Um, even has this cool little MCM uh, flair to it. I paid four for this. Um, it's even got the little basket and everything in there. I'll probably just gonna try to sell this local uh, between 20 and 30 bucks. I really don't wanna ship it and the cost of shipping is gonna be too much. Uh, but keep an eye out for this. Wicker is hot, MCM is hot. If you can get this stuff cheap, it moves pretty quick on uh, Facebook Marketplace. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.